Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. Go to learnpythonthehardway.org and click on Read the Free HTML Online, or click on the tree diagram over here, and it'll take you to the table of contents. Right now, we're going to be working on exercise number seven, which is more printing. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And here's what we're supposed to enter and see what happens. There's our, there's our assignment. Now, let me show you how that works in uh, Text Wrangler. If you have a Windows PC, you'll be using Notepad++. But I will make this uh, bigger. And let me start showing you one line at a time. The first line is print Mary had a little lamb. We've done this before. We're doing print, which means pr show it. Now, it doesn't mean print it on paper. It means show it in the console, which is either the terminal on a Mac or PowerShell on a, a Windows PC. And then in double quotes, we have a string variable uh, with text in it. Mary had a little lamb, period. OK, that's easy. The second one is its fleece was white as, and then we use a uh, sort of a format character, a variable, to fill in some text. Now. Please note that the string itself has double quotes and that the uh, string that we're going to send into it has single quotes. It actually does not matter whether they have single or double quotes. Either way works, except Zed explains there's a, there's a custom of using single quotes when you have a single character or when it's a short word. And so that it's customary, um, but you can do it either way. And in fact, I switched it around in the next example, and you'll see that it prints out exactly the same. I put single quotes on the first part and double quotes on the uh, on the small string that's going to get filled in. And everywhere that Mary went, and that's another string. Now we have an interesting one. We have uh, our string is actually a single period. And then we have an asterisk, which is the sign for multiplication, and 10. And then a comment, what did that do? And what you're going to see is it actually it repeats uh, it prints the period 10 times. The next thing is a whole bunch of variables, 12 variables that sp to spell out the word cheeseburger. And what we're going to do with those 12 different variables and 12 different strings is we're going to put them together this way. Um, now, I'm adding a little bit. Zed didn't have this. He says, try it with the, he, he types in with a comma and asks you to try it without the comma. I'm just going to show it to you both ways. What we have here is the command print, which means show it in the console. And then it says to take each variable like this. And remember, when you use plus, it sticks them right next to each other with no space in between, which is good if you're spelling a single word. Then we have our comma. And on the next line, we have print, and we've got the uh, next six. And then I've put a little print to create a space in between. And then I do the whole thing again, but this time I remove the comma. See, there's no comma there. Anyhow. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So I've got this saved as exercise ex07.py. And the reason I'm using leading zeros is so things sort correctly in the, in the window here. And if you take a look in quick view, there's the text that we're dealing with, easy. I go to Python, excuse me, I go to terminal on Mac or PowerShell on Windows PC. And here I type Python, which means that's the program I'm going to use to run it, or the language I'm going to run it in. And then the name of the script, the name of the program. And it's ex07.py. And I can do this because script is currently my, is my current directory. It's my working directory. And I can do that here. So I hit return and ta-da, Mary had a little lamb. That's our first line that we uh, wrote over here. It's fleece was white as snow. You see these are identical even though I used uh, different quotes on the two of them. The first one has double quotes, then single. The second one has single, then double. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. And everywhere that Mary went, that's fine. This one, where we do a multiplication of the string, we actually say take that and multiply it times 10. Here we are with 10 periods in a row. And then down here at the bottom, we've got our 12 variables that say cheeseburger. This is the one that has a comma at the end of the first line. Look what it does. It prints it on one line, so it's treating it as a single command, but because of the comma, it's putting a space between them. Whereas the individual variables, n1, n2, n3, because they have plus between them, they're smashed right up against each other, which is how you would want it with a single word. On the other hand, when I take out the comma, 
Python treats these as two separate commands that are to be executed on different lines, which is why cheese is on the top line and burger is on the second line. Anyhow, that's it for uh, exercise seven. Hope that made sense, and I'll see you soon for exercise eight.